This video is of the merge process using the teeth matching technique. Okay, the teeth matching technique is a relatively newer technique. We had the points matching where you had to identify very exact locations on the patient scan and on the STL scan. This video is going to view the process for using the tooth matching technique. Generally, it's always a good idea when you're going to do matching to raise the density threshold a little bit to reduce any noise. And you can also isolate the relevant jaw by pressing isolate and clicking on the jaw you want to keep. And whatever is not touching the surface that you just selected will be removed by the software. So now we have the mandible, a clearer view of the mandible, and we're going to go ahead and do a merge. File import STL model select the relevant STL and the software opens up the CT and the scanned model now when we're using the tooth marking technique we're not gonna mark the exact location on each tooth what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark the teeth themselves okay in general you want to mark the more teeth you mark the better so we're going to go ahead and start marking teeth we'll skip a tooth or two and as you can see we're not being very careful as to exactly where on the tooth we're marking we're just going and replacing the dots okay and you want to go around the arch Generally, the more dots, the better. So you go ahead and click on Align. We now see the merge on the screen in the 3D view, and we could also see the outline of the model in the 2D view. From these two views, it looks pretty good. We could press OK and examine it in more detail. Now we have the cross sections and the axial view that we could use for examination as well. And we could simply go through the axial slices and we could identify the outline going around the area with the teeth. And we want to see what we do see now that the outline is closely wrapped around the teeth. We could also look in the axial view as we get closer and closer to the occlusion. Again, we want to see the outline wrapped closely around the teeth. Now, if we want to make any changes to the merge, we could use the model manipulation panel and click matching teeth, which is the technique we just used now, and it will open up the panel that we had previously. We could add additional dots or move some dots. If we want to use the points technique, then we simply switch to points and then click align and do the technique that way.